Hello, I'm Mariana Danilovich with Ultra Live TV, and here we are with Will Pinnell, who's with um, Sabre, uh, the parent company of Travelocity, and we're at the Digital Hollywood Spring Show. Will, uh, would you tell us a little bit about what, what are you finding at the show that's really interesting? Sure. So one of the things I think is interesting is digital content, specifically content designed for mobile phones, is becoming more prevalent, in fact, I think, than people... Uh, who are watching content at their PCs or on their television, especially as you think about the changing demographic that we see in terms of what people want and where they want it. Uh, we find that quite interesting. Saber, as a company uh, in providing products like Travelocity, uh, are trying to reach a changing demographic. And the primary way that we reach those customers is through mobile phones, through uh, iPads, through other kinds of new and emerging content types. And I think that uh, this show is providing us with a lot of insight and help in how to do that. Well, that's a really great um, affirmation of the show, which has been around for a couple of decades. Um, do you come here to also do business? Is it a marketplace? Um, do deals actually happen here at Digital Hollywood? Yeah, so this is, uh, it may have been around for decades. This is my first uh, Digital Hollywood, uh, amazingly. Um, but yeah, I found, uh, I was on a panel this morning that I had a lot of folks come up to me and offer different ways in which we can innovate, uh, provide different kinds of products and services to our customers. And uh, I find it very valuable. So, so yes. So what would be your, um, let's say we create a marketplace for you in Sabre. What would be the, something that you're offering currently to this community, which is a digital media, entertainment media community, and maybe some other customers in that area? Sure. So, so first of all, we provide a very different kind of entertainment, I think, than most that are here. Travelocity provides uh, customers with a connection to travel. And so we allow people to buy flights, to buy airfare, to buy uh, anything from rental cars to cruises. And this kind of content is, is ideal, I think, for figuring out how do we make that experience of travel uh, more exciting and invigorating through uh, entertainment. And so if you can provide someone with perhaps a better taste of where they're going to visit, um, they're more likely, I think, to buy uh, and, and visit that location. So um, again, ours is a different take, but I think it's an interesting one. So will you be adding video to Travelocity and other properties? Um, I, I think it's fair to say that over time, as video as a medium becomes more prevalent on the web and on mobile, you can certainly see that from, a, from our marketing uh, perspective. Um, as, as probably most people know Travelocity as the roaming gnome, um, you know, there are fairly funny advertisements on television that show the different places in which the gnome travels. So I think you'll probably see more of that from us. You may see a nom on, on some sort of a YouTube video. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Coming up. Exactly. What are some of the things that people offer to you today after your panel that you thought were just exceptional and you weren't expecting? Yeah. So um, uh, one, one gentleman had an application store um, that he wanted to talk to me about as a way to increase the way in which we would touch customers. So today, if we want to touch a customer, uh, they have to come to Travelocity.com. Um, if we wanted to reach out and find customers in other places um, through different distribution means, that for us is quite interesting. We're always looking for new customers or to uh, take our brand and make it available to customers who, who might not have heard. Um, so that was interesting. We've also heard about companies who will take our content and build iPad applications for us or build mobile applications for us um, and, and provide testing services and all, all kinds of things. So. so the interesting thing is that you as a brand uh, can now be syndicated cross platforms with the help of some of these developers and they will actually uh, test it out for you without an upfront investment. Yeah. They, they, they might argue whether there's an upfront investment or not. I, I don't know. Um, you know, traditionally, Sabre has built our own products and services. I think it's fair to say that as we go into these fairly niche markets that today are niche, but we know are the future of the way people are going to transact and access information, I think we'll, uh, we'll probably look to some specialized companies to help. I really appreciate this because you provided the breadth and depth of what's going on here because really all businesses and not just media and entertainment are changing with the proliferation of broadband video, with distribution through across platforms, with the new applications, with the new uh, delivery platforms and this is an e just an amazing example of how it's affecting, this, this digital media is affecting travel. 
and 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 Saber, which used to be a, a B two B company. Exactly. Yeah. So so yeah, I think um, these kinds of uh, events. Um, digital Hollywood, you wouldn't expect to see a very traditional B two B company like Saber Holdings uh, at this event. I think it speaks to how pre pervasive um, this new technology and entertainment is becoming. As we look to uh, increase market reach and and uh, again touch and acquire customers in different ways than we have in, in years past. Thank you so very much for creating a new marketplace for digital Hollywood companies. Right. Take you. care. Have a wonderful conference.